amazing. I've only had positive things to say about that show. It changed my life for all the better, and I'm so grateful to Big Brother. Um, and you hear people saying, oh, I stopped watching it years ago. I've watched every single series. <laughs> I stand by that show. And you as, need to get up as more. As Nick would say, <coughs> you never find a sword, you die no, by the sword. <laughs> but you are a massive fan, a super fan. A super mm. fan. So yeah. to have been a part of it was just a dream come true. Gosh, and last night, you were on last night, weren't you? You were on Twitter. And you tweeted the result. Before oh, the I just heard. <gasps> I know. I was totally unaware of that. <laughs> It just shows you change days because if that had been the, when you were in it yes. or you were in it, it would have been massive. People would have said, What's going on? It would have been like that time in the Bake Off when yes, Pooh actually inadvertently did the Bake Off yes. thing. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it is time to just sort of say, Enough is enough. Perhaps. We've got the memory. Because you, you talk and you're very, very honest about how really sort of the partying days and almost binge drinking, which yeah. I guess most young people will potentially resonate with that a lot of people in university are going through the same yeah. thing and and you just think that there has to be a moment that makes you realize this isn't good for me anymore what was yeah. that moment for you to be honest it wasn't necessarily a eureka moment i had been thinking about it for quite a while and I, I was waiting for an epiphany to happen that one day i would wake up and i would stop and i would just stop treating my body with so much disrespect and was it just being out every night? Was it sort of just being out yeah, with friends? Yeah, it, and... it was worse than that. I mean, I had friends who could handle it and I didn't handle it. And I was making some really bad choices and decisions. And I wasn't just kind of ruining my own life. I was also, you know, pushing the people around me away too. And I just, I reached actually a crossroads in my life where I needed to prioritize myself and I actually ended it with my ex-boyfriend and that felt really empowering and then I had time to think about me mm. and that was really important because I'd always just like coasted through life and kind of depended on, on, on other people and yeah for the first time I was like what do I want to do what do I want to achieve it was quite dramatic in your guys year though yeah. as well I mean I remember Lorraine there was this crazy scene where Tina, who was on Megan oh, Chelsea, no. was put on. And Katie <laughs> had what could only be described as Katie Watt as a bit of a bit of a meltdown on screen. So it clearly yeah. there is a lot of pressure in there, isn't mm. there? Yeah. It's like everything you feel in real life but times hundred <laughs> yeah. in there. So, it's all hated, yeah. Yeah, it's just crazy. And, and difficult, difficult, but at the same time, hey, look what happened. I know. It's fantastic. <laughs> so what do you make of watching? It must be really odd watching it, actually, when you've been there. Yeah, we were a little bit um, a little bit nervous for it, because it's like our little baby as well, Love Island, do you know what yeah, I mean? So, it's like but now we're, we're both addicted, like, every night, like, we base our whole lives around it, like the rest of the, the nation. We might um, go for dinner to yeah, watch Love Island. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so it takes precedent over yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah, everything. That bad. Would you ever go back in? I mean, like, say they phoned you up now and said, we're going to bounce you back in there just for fun. Together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. It was, but not, it, yeah. It was an amazing experience. Like, we always say we just wish we could go back to the village for, like, one night or... Like a reunion. Yeah, because it's literally yeah. it's where we met at the end of the day, so... I know, it's always going to have I a mean, place in your heart. She clearly needs help. Ryan, I know, I met Ryan, we did a tipping point yeah. together, and it was actually it's on, on yesterday. The other day. It was on Perfect yesterday. Timing. And a lovely, lovely chat. Totally. Just an absolute delight. Totally. And we've had his brothers on the show very often, Scott and Adam. The family are absolutely devastated about this and Scott has sent this little message. All right, okay. Hi, the rain. this is Scott Ryan's brother. I just want to say a massive thank you for all your support for Ryan. And yeah, it's been so, so tough the last few days watching him go through what he's been through. Um, it's been heartbreaking for the family, but we knew that he'd get through it. Um, and yeah, he's really shined the whole way through it, the way he's dealt with it. He's handled it like an absolute champion. And we're just so proud of him. And um, yeah, we can't wait to see him smiling again. We want to see that crazy Thomas laugh. And um, yeah, thank you so much to you and the rest of the nation for everybody, everybody's support. Lots of love and Ryan for the win. Come on, bro. Mwah. The speculation is that Ryan probably will get, walk out a winner mm -hmm. here, which is mm -hmm. particularly surprising given Roxanne wanted him out of the house. And at one point, the rumor is she even asked to speak to police. 
oh. about this incident? What is going on? I mean, it's. I, I want to point to her ex-co-star, Calvin Fletcher, lovely guy, of course. They played an on-screen couple for a long time. He's described her as evil, calculating and manipulative. Because I think, I'll be honest with you, I, wouldn't, I don't know that I'd want to be 23 right now because it's really hard because you do, especially for someone like yourself, it's kind of, yeah. obviously you've been in Made in Chelsea, but then you, you know, you're catapulted into this huge world, you know, after winning I'm a Celebrity. And people can be really mean. Yeah, I mean... Really mean. Yes. And, you know, you were bullied at school. And when people are mean to you, that must bring all of that back again, which is why it's so important for you to get this message across. Yeah, it's an interesting one because I really... Um, it, it, I hate talking about what happened to me when I was 13. Just it makes me all upset. I really don't like it. However, when I was doing the book, I thought, actually, it would be a travesty for me not to address it. Yeah. And I only mention it briefly. However, it's there. Mm. And I want, you know, young people who hopefully read the book to see that, actually, yeah, people can be vile when you're at school. Mm. And it's not you that's the problem. No. It's them. Exactly. And I like them to see that, you know, now, 10 years on, I'm so happy and I'm so much more confident now and it's been a real journey and mm. every life is just like that. I've really had to grow up so much and I feel like I've come out a completely different human being. You know, getting thrown Bitter? into the... Oh, 100%. The way I've been thrown into the limelight, you really just have to grow up so quickly mm. and it was the best summer of my life and I'll never, ever forget it. Got to be lows as well. You've got to be careful what you put on social media as Roseanne Barr has found yeah. out. You've got to be really careful what yeah. you put out there because it can come back and bite you on the bottom. Of course, yeah. So that's been, has that been something you've been very aware of? Yeah, you have to. Do you know what? You ha Like I said, you have to grow up because anything can happen and it just takes that one little thing and it can absolutely blow up. I mean, you visit some amazing places. Yeah. And see some extraordinary things. I mean, like sumo wrestling. I mean, I've obviously seen it on TV, but I've never actually been there. Oh, and there you, look there, at that. There I am. <laughs> look at that tiny little butt. You're too small to be a sumo wrestler. Well, this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. Look at You're that. You're too little. I mean, it's, that's life size. You, that were, is... you were clenching your buttocks there. Tell um, me that. Yeah, you you know, that's, that's exactly what they, they look like firmly, all the time. firmly clenched. It's uh, when you put, well, of those, they're called a mawashi, well, they're those things. And uh, first of all, it's very emasculating when you can't tie your own one. Right. And you have to get another person to tie your pants like for you. Like a child. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, they, because they look amazing in it, because they just, they, they fill it. Yes. And they, they're so <laughs> hairless and strong and big. And I'm just so pale and Aww. skinny. Oh, come on, you're not bad. And then you just get in it, and it's just, it's all, it all falls out the sides, Lorraine. <laughs> it's just, you know, you you know when you've got a burrito and it's not tightly wrapped yeah. and chicken falls out the end? I hear you. That's what it was That's all. That's a beautiful image that will carry with me all day. Thank I'm you very so much sorry. indeed. You started off, you were 20 you were saying, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. off. Looking back at that girl and the girl who was called Charlotte the Harlot and the girl that wet herself on television, yes. do you kind of go, oh, eek? Because, you know, people make mistakes, but all of your mistakes are there. I, I don't, I don't. I still do all of them things, Lorraine. <laughs> do you? Yes, and I never go all week. I'm like, oh, not again. Do you not, but do you not, you're not embarrassed? I, I'm not, no. Not even when you wet yourself on telly? No. Why not? Why are you because not embarrassed? Because it's so normal now. No it's, no, it's not. It is. No, it really isn't. It is. <laughs> no, so, no, it really isn't. Know, I would be embarrassed <laughs> if people were, didn't like it or people, people were like... Well, can I say to you, a lot of people don't. I don't. I, yeah, but, I really don't love, honestly, I have to be honest yeah, but, with you. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally understand and I agree that some people don't like it, but a lot of people laugh at it and I don't do it on purpose. It's purely right. just because it's an accident. But they might not be laughing with you, though. That's the thing. I mean, Are you not worried a... about that? No. No? OK, well, look, that's fine. If you're, ha look, if you're not, happy, I'm that's absolutely fine. I'm not the kind of person who and worries about things. I just, I live life to me fullest and I don't stop for a second right. and think about people who I don't know what their opinions okay. are. Okay. As long as my friends and family still love us and accept us for who I am, that's all that I care about. Right, and your family are totally fine with it. Totally. They're totally and very proud of you, I, I would imagine. Yes. Because we, you're on she TV. She doesn't like it when I do it in the house. She gets a bit upset about that. Do what in the house? When I weigh myself in the house. Right, OK. Have you not thought about getting help? <laughs> it's a, no, it's not that it's a problem. It's just I'm a, I'm a fast asleep in a deep sleep. I don't know what I could do about it. There's no, there's no okay. option. Okay. <laughs> it is it's, it's a strange sort of a thing to be involved with, really, isn't it? Because mm. at that stage, well, it was two years ago now that you won it, and you're thrust into this limelight. Mm. Your whole life's probably all over the papers, mm. social media and everything else. Were you prepared for what was to come afterwards? No. Definitely not. I don't no. think any one is I think people that are going in now are maybe a little bit more prepared because they've seen sort of how we've done and we've worked and we're so fortunate that two years on you know the public still like us and we're so thankful for that mm. but yeah at the time no it was a lot 
when you're coming out, I don't think it was just a lot of pressure crazy, between us two it? as well. Yeah. Yeah, like you go in as a single person, you come out, you're not Cara and Nathan, you're Cara and Nathan, yeah. and you're the winners, and there's just so much. Yeah, exactly that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's a lot, isn't it, to take in for yeah. anyone? Yeah. It's not normal. Of course not. But as we say, it has it has ended so so beautifully We're for so you. Thankful. The end of that yeah. series.